Riga is all set to show what it's made of this year. Thousands braved icy temperatures to celebrate their city's year as European capital of culture on the banks of the river Daugava. Riga was founded 800 years ago by a bishop from the German city of Bremen. It quickly developed into a bustling Hanseatic town. Riga's architecture reflects its rich history. Art Nouveau details grace many of the buildings that line its streets. The president of Latvia resides in the House of the Blackheads, originally built in 1334. Local residents are proud of their culture. We want to say a message. Culture is that positive force that changes your life and the life of the city and even a country if you wish so. The new National Library perfectly symbolizes that spirit of change. It was designed 25 years ago by architect Gunnar Birkertz and was finally completed just in time for 2014. Earlier this month, books were moved from the old library building to the new one, handed from one person to the next. The route was precisely a symbolic 2,014 meters long. Among those taking part was Marta Melgave, who's 100 years old. It's such an important event, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. We feel all together, like one, one nation. Very historical moment. Yeah, I'm involved in life and history. Local residents have dubbed the new building the Castle of Light. Its doors will be opening to the public in a few months' time. This uh, was a palace of knowledge which drowned in, in, in ancient ages. And legend was uh, if a whole people will call, raise again Castle of Light, then uh, if it will be, uh, we will be together and we all will say Castle of Light, raise again, then it will happen. Riga has always been a melting pot for people from a wide range of cultures. One of its most famous residents was the German composer Richard Wagner. He spent almost two years in the Latvian capital as chief conductor of the city's opera. Gundiga Leivina lives in one of the historic wooden houses in the Kalnsima quarter on the other side of the river Daugava. She's curating a project called Roadmap, which invites international artists to spend 2014 living and working in Riga. I think I'm really happy and privileged to live here because uh, this is the place where uh, uh, urban and natural meets or you can really find kind of combination of city spirit and uh, countryside spirit. And for me personally, as I think for a lot of Latvians, this is very important. Culture has even come to the landmark Central Market, housed in former Zeppelin hangars. A local butcher there dispenses choice cuts and songs. And his wife also has a story to tell. Everyone can contribute to making this year a memorable one for Riga. My biggest expectation after this year would be that the number of people to whom art becomes daily necessity would grow and that attitude towards art would change that it is actually something accessible and uh, you just have to stop and listen. The organizers of Riga's Capital of Culture events want to present culture as a positive force.